Good morning, welcome back. We have ourselves a extractor and it's the ES300 XP. So, looking from the recovery tank, it doesn't look like they were cl have been cleaning it out very well. Um, no problems with the hose. Now there is a damage here to this cord. It has been twisted or it got run over. It's damaged, we're gonna have to replace that. Now, <clears throat> looking at this top deck where the back motor sits, lots of recovery water may have been dumped, lots of chemical inside. Um, it looks like it hasn't been flushed whatsoever. When chemical is put in this tank, you must evacuate all the solution. What doesn't look like this has been cleaned out. The gasket is completely gone on this recovery lid. Now, the thing about which makes this nice, these hoses come off, they just twist off, but it's been so long since they even appear to have been off. It's hard to say, but these do twist off a quarter turn and you can actually take this whole lid and put it under some hot water and just clean it. Missing the um, <clears throat> float cage. So that's gonna be a concern once I power this on. Um, now, the other issues at hand, uh, brush has to come out after every use. And by the looks of it, it looks as though Got some soil up in here. Spindle is completely packed with debris. Chances are that's rusted. Looking at the brush, we got bristle set, which is not good. And there. Seized bearing. Lack of aftercare. So, um, looks like, I don't know, it could have been stored outdoors for some period of time, which is not recommended. Um, part of the reason how I come to this conclusion is there's mud, actual mud on the upholstery tool, and I've yet to test that. So I haven't powered it on yet. I just want to get an idea of the exterior, what we're dealing with. I'm gonna see if that's cracked or not, but no, not cracked been through some uh, rough handling though. The belt will need to be replaced with the spindle. That's what we do as a service. Um, so I'm gonna power it on here briefly. Update, as I powered this on, um, this machine shorted in my face. So it's right now it's in hazardous condition. I have to open this handle assembly up to see what's going on on the inside to predict what has gone wrong electrically. Took the top cover off and the source of some of the damage here is shorted wiring and it's apparent. So what basically happened is for some reason this overheated and that's unknown as to why, but we do have power switch damage here. This pigtail would have to be replaced. So really can't power any other devices on until this issue up here is completely resolved. We have to replace this wiring. Um, and whatever associated here. I'm trying to see what else besides the input from the wall. Um, but I think this was the main culprit. These were not meant to touch each other and they're bare. So this will maybe be a two part quote once we get the electrical hazards out of the way. <laughs> 